I'm going to quickly talk about Logan Paul. Logan Paul is out here scamming his fans, being a piece of absolute shit, and it drives me up the fucking wall. Not because I'm not a big fan of Logan Paul. I don't really mind him, to be honest. I don't mind any of the Paul brothers. I don't really have a big issue against them. The main issue I have with these guys is just to do with the fact that they're all rich and famous and they love to swindle their fans. I don't know why this is the case. Why do these guys do this? Like, especially Logan with Prime and everything, right? He could easily, if he wants to, pay back all these guys that he scammed through crypto zoo that fucking bullshit cryptocurrency thing that he was doing it, even if he's going to make it right and actually launch a project later the ones who want to get their money back just give them their money back it's no skin of his fucking chin do you know what I mean? He's got the money. Why don't just give it back to them? But it seems like some of these guys legitimately just enjoy scamming their fans. They enjoy the thrill of getting the money out of them. And then they also enjoy completely ignoring them, knowing full well, more than likely, the fans won't go anywhere. That's the sad part about it. Most of Logan Paul's fans who got scammed aren't going to stop watching his content. They're not, not going to you know buy fucking Prime. They're not going to support him on fucking wherever it may be. They're just going to do what they're going to do. And it's really, really upsetting that they don't draw the line and say enough's enough. You're a scamming piece of shit. We're going to leave. They don't do that. So instead they get scammed and he just carries on keeping on carrying on. And it's really, really annoying to be completely honest to see. I don't like it in size because I feel like this is strange to say, but I feel like scamming should be like, scamming should be reserved for the poor. Basically, that's what I'm saying. If you're down bad and you're poor and you need to scam to put food on your table for your family and to put clothes on your back and keep a roof over your head, it is what it is. But I'm also somebody that says, if you scam to put food on the table, there has to be an end goal. You Sorry, you can't keep scamming the rest of your life. You're never ever going to get away with it forever. So you have to kind of scam just to kind of get yourself up, get yourself ready, right? Imagine you've got a job interview and you want to fucking go and shoplift a fucking suit. I'm not condoning it, but go shoplift a fucking suit. Do you know what I mean? Go to your interview, get the job, and then once you get a salary, stop fucking, you know, doing fucking scamming and lifting shit. Do you know what I mean? That, that's, that's what I think people should be doing. But it's deplorable, deplorable when the rich, famous and the privileged scam. Because most likely, the people they're scamming are, guess what? The poors, the working class, the middle class, the people just trying to figure shit out and trying to make a name for themselves, trying to put some, you know, food on their table, trying to put stash some money in their bank account. That's all they're trying to do. And they end up scamming them. And when they scam them, it affects them for way longer than it would affect these kind of guys. And I absolutely hate it. I think it's deplorable. Anyway, let's play this video. This is courtesy of a channel called Cavos. It says, Logan Paul just took the biggest of his career, crypto suit, lawsuit. Let's see what he's saying. In. Logan Paul is now in huge trouble. Hashtag Savage. If you're unfamiliar why Logan Paul is an absolute scumbag, Hashtag Savage. He scammed his fans out of millions through a game called CryptoZoo. Many of you know this by now. Subsequently, Logan Paul is now being sued, trying to play everything off like the scumbag he is. But now, finally, the man himself, Coffee Zilla, has rejoined the arena and has spread far and wide how much of a weasel logan paul is stop i'm coming it's quite sickening really to watch logan paul running around with ksi on his prime tour logan paul claimed because they told their fans to throw prime bottles at them that he is now a marketing genius and flexing this on his Twitter profile. Here is another massive class in marketing. For me and KSI just launched Prime in Germany, Spain, Denmark, and Norway. The turnouts were amazing, but we thought let's have a little fun with it. What would happen if our fans appeared to be angry at us? A lot of media pickup from the press and the haters. <laughs> the media had a field day with this one. They thought they had us. No, but that was pretty obvious that it was a fucking marketing ploy. No one sat there for it was fucking legit. It was like, do you know what I mean? These guys are always going to do some fun and games, or whatever. People just had a icky feeling watching this guy gallivanting around the world promoting his prime drink when all he needs to do is break off the crypto people that got scammed. I think it's like a million or two which is a lot for you and I, but for him, it isn't so much. But here he is gallivanting around town, acting like nothing's happening. It's the epitome or it's the kind of perfect example or, you know, yeah, like similar to when you lend somebody money 
And then they come out with you the night after when they owe you money and start spending drinks at the bar, buying loads of shit and whatnot. You're like, bro, where's my fucking money? Do you know what I mean? You want to go on his table and just like dash his food off his fucking table, but you're a good person. This guy is flipping awful, man. Just repay the people and keep on doing what you're doing. You big dummies forgot there are fans and we asked them to do it. Throw your empty, empty bottle at us. We need to make it look like you guys hate us. I can't take credit for this. This was KSI's idea, but we got tens of millions of free impressions for Prime launching in Europe. And it's a good example of one of my favorite sayings. Perhaps if you don't get the joke, you are the joke. Yes, you heard. Logan Paul's like the Taylor Swift of content creators, isn't it, really, in some respects, man? You have to be really into that kind of content and humor to kind of make that make sense. But, you know, I guess there's better, there's worse heroes for kids to have. That's a good thing, I think, with guys like that. As corny and as lame as they are, I'd much, much rather have, you know, I'd much rather see kids under 18 have KSI and Logan Paul as kind of idols and people to look up to and, you know, whatever it may be, than whoever else that they hang around with in the area who's doing some bad, bad, bad shit. So, you know, maybe that goes um, to show some weak. But then I'm thinking about it, you know, they scam. I'm not too sure who's actually worse. The drug dealer that's selling crack in your hood to keep his roof on his head or Logan Paul who's scamming literal children and people just trying to figure it out. Oh, I don't know. That right, Logan Paul, the man who made CryptoZoo, marketed it to the world. September 1st, CryptoZoo.co. I came up with this idea here, actually, in Puerto Rico in February. Um, and I was like, I think this might be um, a really fucking good idea. I really, really do believe it is going to be the catalyst for a lot of young people getting into crypto. Didn't deliver it anything scammed all his fans just called himself what a piece of shit a marketing genius a master class in marketing he is one of the most deluded fucks on this planet so obviously when now to be fair he is good at marketing let's not let's not try and rewrite history he's good at fucking branding himself um creating content making the content being a personality in front of camera you may not like what he does and you may great as a personality and whatnot but let's not deny that he's not good at what he does let's let's just be let's be real logan paul's tweeting this out people are definitely gonna clown on him coffeezilla tweeted out hey logan was promising 1.8 million dollars in refunds to love coffeezilla and six months later not paying another masterclass in marketing Asking for all the people who got scanned by you and the criminals you hired. Follow that <laughs> up with 1.8 million in refunds. For those who do not want to wait, zero dollars delivered. Good marketing, Logan. He just wants to make everything crypto related now disappear that he has now blocked coffee. Oh the my god. He thanked for exposing CryptoZoo. And lastly, thank you, CoffeeZilla. Um, you have catalyzed this and i am very grateful it's so fucking fake and he's amazing <laughs> uh, he's just like scamming but honestly the scamming of fans is something i will never forgive ever 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 i think it's deplorable it's uh, like similar to like um ice poseidon when he did his thing i was never the biggest fan of his i always think he's a fucking dork but when he did that scam again i think it was crypto with his fans and he basically fessed up and said yeah i've scammed you guys you're not getting your money back it is what it is i thought you are a piece of absolute dog shit do you know what i mean people that do that are awful your fans who are supporting you and usually the ones who kind of build you up to get you to the level where you're making any money and then here you are taking for granted their fucking fandom and exploiting them. I think that is the lowest of the low. For your work and your investigation. And I mean that. Thank you, bro. Is now blocked. Logan Paul is really <laughs> the type of dude to thank you when you expose his scam, then block you when you remind Yeah, exactly, uh, Tony Tube. CoffeeZilla did go on Rogan. You know, the funny thing is, Logan Paul always feels like he should be on Rogan, which maybe he should have. But I have a feeling Rogan hasn't had him on fucking there because of all the scams and all the controversy around him. So even though he does good business and he's clearly good at his job and they would have probably a really good conversation around influencer marketing, around being a content creator, him being an athlete, wrestling, um, UFC. There's a lot to talk about. It would actually be a really good podcast. I think Rogan's avoiding him mostly or turning him down because of all the scams.
because you know they're just linked with fucking scams they love a good crypto scam him and his brother they fucking love it even though they make easy money doing what they're doing um they make easy money probably from fucking ads they get fucking through instagram probably a decent amount of money through podcast and you know youtube channel sponsorships but they that still isn't enough they still need to squeeze as much as they can out of the fucking fans who probably donate who probably subscribe to their channel but that's not enough let me launch a fucking nonsense crypto zoo project and scam my fans more deplorable tim to pay up logan paul truly showing that he doesn't care about the victims he scammed he is one of the biggest scumbags we have seen on youtube he also blocked wade plem wade is a youtube boxing commentator who actually covered my last video on logan paul where i'm calling him out for his lawsuit well wade because of his video covering my video also got blocked <laughs> by Logan Paul. Logan's blocking everyone. Fucking hell. If only dismissing the lawsuit from people Logan scammed was as easy as blocking me on Twitter, he'd be all set. Doesn't he know? Logan should be smarter than this. Doesn't he know lo blocking somebody is an admission of guilt? An admission. It's like an admission of acknowledgement, right? That you saw their video, right? And that you feel guilty or that you feel bad or whatever it may be. Blocking somebody doesn't do what you think it does for the most part. These guys are bizarre, really and truly, because if I'm not mistaken, I've seen a couple of posts from Logan and most posts, if you look underneath the comments, people are saying refund, refund, like it's not going to go away. People are going to keep talking about it the more he keeps trying to ignore it. And if this actually does end up going to court with the lawsuits, he's going to be fucked because it's going to bring even more attention to what's going on. And it might even sully what he's doing with Prime. Who knows? Everything going on with Prime right now because I'm so surprised it hasn't been bought out or they're set, you know, because it's clearly popular with the kids and shit. Maybe the reason why some investors are a bit gun shy and it hasn't maybe IPO'd or whatever it's meant to be might have to do with the ongoing lawsuit that he's got going with CryptoZoo. So maybe him just addressing it, breaking off the million to the fans that got scammed and just keeping on keeping on might actually be better for him in the long run. But I don't know. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. So it definitely seems through my videos, Henry Resilience streams, there has been a ripple effect now where more people are now covering Logan Paul CryptoZoo scam as it had flown under the radar for ages. I've been covering it yeah. well after CoffeeZilla stopped his series. So this is absolutely amazing to see. Now Logan Paul is getting even more heat and it doesn't stop there. CoffeeZilla uploaded a brand new video about logan paul refunding his victims fuck all we get a massive reminder and really get to see how much of a prick logan paul is <laughs> i love a good prick isn't it good god bless the uk i love a good prick you fucking prick ah! coffeezilla touches on the fact that logan paul hasn't paid anyone back it's been six months, so here's a follow-up. Logan Paul has not paid back his victims. He hasn't talked about it since he first announced he was going to pay them back. And what's worst of all, he doesn't seem to have a plan in place to refund anyone. One of the best parts of this video is CoffeeZilla revealing the messages he was sending Logan to remind him, Hey, Logan, you promised to refund these people <laughs> you scammed. Uh, where is the fucking money? Yeah, yeah. Where's my money? Bitch. I ain't gonna keep asking nice. I've been asking Logan for that plan to refund people the entire time behind the scenes in messages like these. Quote, hey Logan, following up on the zoo refunds, when should people expect those? It's been about a month. And then a month later, following up again. People are wondering <laughs> what's going on. Almost been two months. Very frustrating for victims to get promises and then see nothing and get zero communication. And then later, hey Logan, following up for a third time it's been over five months since you promised love a good following up mate that's the most passive aggressive thing ever if you've worked in corporate industries you've worked in office jobs if you worked in startups you'll know following up is always passive aggressive it's never done in a nice way it's always done in a hey fuck face get doing the thing that i ask you to do you know what i mean send that thing that I, you promised you would send me that's what basically they're saying i love a good following up promised to refund the victims of CryptoZoo over $3 million. I meant to say $1.8 million there. The price of crypto changed a lot. So what this buyback was going to be was constantly changing. I just misspoke there. 
Either way, my point was this, quote, you haven't contacted any of them nor explained why you haven't done what you said you'd do. Meanwhile, you got public credit for promising to do this. Exactly. And all of this, Logan didn't respond to. Logan Paul didn't respond to any of it. <laughs> he probably Too blocked Too busy him. making absolute millions from Prime. January of this year, we, we did 45 million. Oh, wow. only in January. Yeah. 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 And the best point in that clip. Imagine bro bragging about shit like that, Brogan. Imagine bragging about shit like that and not paying back your victims. Just imagine the fucking neck, the fucking front on this fucking guy, man. Awful human being. Again, like I said, if you're scamming because you're down bad, as the pro bro as it is, cool. Get your money up. But once you got your money up, go legit or pay back the people that you scammed. Make it right. But don't continue scamming and then fucking start making legit money and then start bragging about the legit money you're making while not fucking paying back the people you scammed. Clip from CoffeeZilla, which I've been preaching in my videos, is that Logan Paul has now got all the public credit from them videos he released saying he's going to refund the victims. He's got all of that, but did absolutely nothing behind the scenes. And the victims are still left with their dicks in their hands. Mm. Dicks. In our hands. Dicks in our hands. Dicks in our hands. <laughs> this next part really shows how ridiculous and how far... Logan Paul has gone to try and distance himself from CryptoZoo because Logan didn't reply when CoffeeZilla emailed him to try and find another way to contact Logan. His criminal defense lawyer <laughs> replied to CoffeeZilla <laughs> saying this. In fact, the only response I got came on my fourth attempt to reach Logan, but this one came from his criminal defense lawyers. He quote, regularly defends individuals and corporations in white collar criminal litigation. Of course he does. We represent Logan Paul. Mr. Paul has informed us of your outreach about the status of the CryptoZoo buybacks. Mr. Paul remains committed to this process. We are working with Mr. Paul to evaluate the best. <laughs> I love all these empty words, honestly. These guys are professionals at writing loads of words and saying absolutely nothing. He's informed us of your outreach about the status of the crypto zoo egg buybacks, right? Not refunds or anything. Mr. Paul remains committed to the process. What does that even mean? We're working with Mr. Paul to evaluate the best way to achieve this goal. What goal? <laughs> the buyback of the, like what? Oh, they're fucking A tier when it comes to chatting absolute shit way to achieve this goal in the meantime please direct to our attention any further inquiries to mr paul thank you for your patience and understanding uh what the actual exactly. fuck logan paul in january when he responded and thanked coffeezilla laid out a whole plan i'd like to announce my three-step plan moving forward step one jeff and i are going to burn our zoo tokens step two uh we want to offer a rewards program for players who are disappointed in the status of the game. So essentially you're gonna be able to burn your, your base egg uh, or your base animal for the mint price. I am personally committing a thousand ETH to this, which is about $1.3 million. The plan would refund his victims a lot less than they got scammed and was still questionable. Better than nothing, which we are at now. His lawyer's like, yeah, we're still trying to find the best possible avenues. We have on video, Logan setting it out. It is an absolute disgrace. How hard is it to just be like, hey guys, if you got scammed, show us your wallet. Here's your money back. Whatever his criminal defense exactly. lawyer said, don't believe any of it. Why would we? Logan has lied. Logan has manipulated. Uh -huh. It is insane. How many people turning a blind eye because of his WWE and Prime bullshit? He sells a shitty drink and makes <laughs> millions. Why do people flock around that like he is the greatest man on the- The Prime drink I've never actually tasted before, but in the UK, it's going fucking nuts. People are reselling it. Um, people buy it out of the shop as soon as it fucking drops and whatnot. But I've never actually tasted it myself, you know? I've never actually tasted it. Um, but I assume it just tastes like any other energy drink out there, but, you know. The planet. The only reason, really, is KSI. KSI is absolutely, right at this second, saving Logan Paul's reputation. Saving his bank account, too. And 
KSI also turning a complete blind eye to Logan Paul's scams. I love this part of Coffeezilla's video. Coffeezilla says that Logan will probably address this soon because of all this backlash, and he'll point towards the lawsuit as a reason why he had to be quiet and why yeah. there are no refunds right now. When he tried using that excuse before... Now, eventually, I do believe Logan will address this. I think he has to. And when he does, I think he'll probably point to a lawsuit that he's in for the reason he couldn't speak. He had to be silent. Only he's tried this before and it didn't make a lot of sense then either. I had to rely on my team. I crumbled internally. And the advice was while actual legal process was going on because of criminal investigation taking place that CoffeeZilla highlighted in his series, I had to stay silent. And for a year, I'm hounding Jeff hounding jeff how do we make this right all right let's get this straight <laughs> logan was dying to make so crypto zoo right the first so time shit. but was legally required to be silent until a youtuber talked about it did the judge magically unseal his lips when my exactly. video dropped I i'm confused exactly. the best point is logan paul can refund people right now as coffeezilla said it wouldn't really add to his admission of guilt because he's already said he's going to do it. All Logan Paul would have to do is actually follow through with it. It wouldn't make him look any more guilty or any more wrong because there's video proof of him saying he's going to do it. If you want to argue the point that maybe Logan might look more guilty if he promises to pay victims, well, sure, but he already did that though. He said he felt so bad that he was going to refund $1.8 million to the affected people who invested. But actually delivering that promise doesn't add any layer of admission to that guilt. He just decided, now nah, I'm not going to do it. Who knows why? Probably because he's a gigantic bellend. I have to shout out this amazing moment. Coffeezilla ends with this mic drop of all mic drops. Logan, if I could speak to you for a second. Okay, bring in the camera. This isn't worth your time. Getting publicly flogged like this every six months? What, are we gonna be doing this in a year? No, okay? It's not worth your time, it's barely worth my time. Just please pay the people back what you owe, give them a real timeline, a real plan, and then we can all go back to pretending you've changed. <laughs> it's just great to see him back. I love coffees in his... Now, honestly, man, it's really annoying, really frustrating. I hope everyone gets their refunds. Um, again, I don't understand it. Personally, I think most likely what happened was that Logan did promise a refund. And then I think he had, a, he had you know, a change of mind and initially thought if he refunds people, it's admission of guilt. Because I don't think it's like him just changing his mind. I just think he didn't want to look guilty. He didn't want to admit to the world that he did scam people. Because if he admits he scammed, it kind of immediately calls into question all the other things people have accused him of. Do you know what I mean? It makes that all that stuff valid. So I don't think he ever wanted to admit that to himself or admit that in public. Um, or be accused or be labeled as a scammer. So he'd rather just like pretend it's not happening and hope that it goes to court. And then he has to settle out of court because if he settles outside of court or in court, you know, if, yeah, if he settles outside of court, then most likely he won't be labeled a scammer. Do you know what I mean? That kind of label online, um, he could kind of excuse it or explain it away. But if he pays back the victims directly in his brain, he thinks, oh, that's me, that's me admitting that I did what I did or I did what they accused me of. Anyway, either way, scumbag behavior. I absolutely hate it. I think it's a deplorable thing. Like I said, I think scamming should only be reserved for the poor and the middle class if you're trying to make it and trying to put food on the table, help your family, trying to start a business. And then once you start it, you go legit. But if you're rich and you're scamming from the fucking poor, you are deplorable. You are an awful person and I wish nothing but pain and suffering to you. Nothing but pain and suffering to you.